Morning right, guys, day five, heading to breakfast. Taking some orange juice because we're heading to the um, the new hotel in a bit. And uh, the orange juice at breakfast isn't very nice, so I'm gonna have this and then uh, see what else we have. leaving the first hotel I think guys let's go check out let's get on the bus heading to Venice um, and then we'll get a boat bus pass which will then hopefully take us to the island on which our second Good. hotel destination is we're just at the uh, boat bus port now um, we actually got tickets at the hotel so we didn't have to get them here and uh, yeah, we're just gonna scan them now and board the boat and uh, we just need to find a hotel now, so let's do that. What's that? I can't believe how you can't tell people to look at you. Why? For your shorts, literally, <laughs> I can see everyone, one yeah. person looks at you and then it's the person next to them. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not a normal thing to wear shorts in Italy Anywhere at all. Apart from England. Yeah, because you know I wear shorts pretty much all the time. I don't find wearing jeans comfortable. You know, there's there's barely. You know, I don't even have big legs. I'm just gonna out and say it. But you know, I really don't find any jeans that are comfortable on my legs that really, you know, fit well and things like that so you know obviously I can wear joggers but they're not really very you know smart and formal and things and shorts you can wear with most things you can wear it with shirts t-shirts vests whatever you want to wear and uh, so yeah that's why I choose to wear shorts because they're comfortable and uh, you know my legs aren't really gonna get cold but everyone else seems to think it's very very strange even when I went to America you know every next person was staring at my legs and you know when it comes to Italy you know everyone's just looking and thinking oh it's so weird he's wearing shorts very strange Is uh, nice. Come on in. <laughs> so we made it to the second hotel. We're here for two nights. Just uh, checked in. Had to pay the. Um, the city tax, which be aware of that, you will be charged when you get to the hotel. It's not too much, I think, for two nights for both of us, it was like 11 euros, so can't really complain at that. But yeah, this is the view out of the out of the room. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah. Nice and sunny. Happy with it? Yeah. So we have checked into our hotel now and we've came out again. We're gonna head, we're gonna take the water bus over to Venice and just find somewhere to eat. It's about, it's about 25 minutes past two. So, you know, it's gone lunchtime now. We're pretty hungry. Um, so yeah, let's go to Venice, let's get some food. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
get on a boat and just get off at any random place we don't really know where we're gonna go we don't really plan to go anywhere so you know we're just gonna just jump on a boat and get off wherever the hell we want to all right so we just got off another boat I've no idea where we are in geographical terms you know in terms of the map of Venice she just had like a half an hour nap on the boat um, but we are about to get on another boat because we want to get over there basically uh, my good friend Daniel Jones shout out to DJ Fitness uh, he came there like last month and if you got the towel then it's a really good view of you know um, I believe this is San Marco and it looks it looks like really nice there. So we're gonna try and get over there and then get up the tower if we can. Well, this is nice. That's it. Oh. Time lapse filming the basically where most of the uh, bus stops are, the boat bus stops, um, and it's pretty dangerous where I set that up. Obviously, it's outside there, and it's the edge is just just here. So. But, do it for the Be on the ground floor. Yeah. Let's go and have a look at the shops. It actually looks really nice here, doesn't it? It's just like a massive, um, like, a, like a huge square with like, you know, quite a lot of big buildings basically. This looks very pretty. <laughs>
Is yours any good though? It is. <clears throat> Well, I've got uh, two meatballs and a few st strands of spaghetti, so let's see. So that was one of the worst meals that I've had in a long time. A few things I could have said about it. One, you know, being the price, you know, it wasn't, I didn't think it was too expensive, you know, I thought, might be really good. I don't mind spending, you know, quite a bit of money when the quality is good. I don't mind spending for good food. But the portion size was so small. The spaghetti and meatballs came out in a tiny dish. There was two meatballs, two meatballs and a few strands of spaghetti. And the chips, which was six euros, was just like a tiny, like, kid's portion, basically. So I wasn't really happy with that. So I thought, you know, let's just eat it, let's just get on with it. And the meatballs, the meatballs, I did ask because obviously, you know, they don't claim to be beef, they don't claim to be pork, they don't claim to be any meat, they just say meatballs. So I did ask the waitress or the owner of the restaurant, I'm not sure what it is, it's just a lady. And I asked, what meat is it? I said, is it beef? She went, Yes, beef. Hannah says, are you sure it's beef? She said, yes. So, I took a word for it. And I started eating them, and I was like, this tastes nothing like beef. Cut it open, it was great on the inside. It was not beef, that was for sure not beef. It could have been anything, it could have been cat, dog, rat. It could have been anything. So, you know, way too pricey. Portion size is tiny, didn't enjoy it, you know. Could have been eating anything. One of the worst meals I've had in a long time. Also, she was supposed to be getting a pepperoni pizza. The woman first thought she asked for a pepper pizza. And then I says, no, she asked for a pepperoni pizza. And pronounce it more clearly. And then she got a pepper pizza. She just got three a Three peppers on. Three <laughs> tiny little peppers just on this massive pizza. So... She just got a margarita pizza with three strands of pepper on it. It's like... Oh. So we didn't even bother to send it back because we just thought, we'll just get on with it. We can't bother to, you know, faff about now. But just very disappointing. I mean, you did say it was nicer, didn't you, to be fair? Yeah, it was just... Well, it wasn't <coughs> as nice as the other ones that I've had here, but... Okay, so, so not, not your best pizza you've ever had but yeah. it was okay you could eat it right it's just annoying here because they beg you to practically beg you at the door to come into the restaurant yeah you're going like oh let's just go here and then you get shit service when yeah i mean the, the, the service the service as well i mean you know you sort of give the uh, you know you give a waiter the eye just to say you know we want we want something here so the service was very poor the portion size was tiny I'm not too sure what I was eating. It didn't taste very nice. Just all around bad meal. I don't often complain with food. I just usually get on with it and, you know, take it how it is. But that was very poor, very disappointing. But um, I'm sure we're going to have plenty of more nice meals here in Venice. We are, we're just going to probably head back to the hotel now. We're kind of head back to Lido. Um, so we're just waiting for the water bus. And uh, yeah, it's time, it's about 8 pm. So I think we need to try and locate a breakfast bar of some description. Or a Mackey's. Or a McDonald's. Because we need to, uh, you know, obviously have somewhere to eat for breakfast tomorrow because we haven't got breakfast included with this hotel. So we need to do that. I'm going to have a nice, relaxing night in the hotel. So the cool thing about walking around Venice at night is. 
that you occasionally get times where it's completely silent so right here I'm just standing on a bridge and there's honestly no people around and now as usual we're walking blindlessly through a little alleyway Well, that was me then. Ah, oh, here. Yeah. Push. It feels when you push and it don't open. Oh wait, no, you have to press white button, is it? No, I don't, I don't want to put my finger in there with the wires. No, it said you have to press a white button. Wait, is it the... There's not a button on there, it's screws. We're in. Ooh. This is our supper. <laughs> Going off there. Oh dear. It's oh open man, there, is it? Just waiting for someone to say, put them back. 